out here, and if I'm not on ATR, I'm listening to ATR. It's to have a big bug bar. 99. 99, episode 99, a touchline rant. We are joined by Jordan, captain of CSKA Sapphire Gardens. Mm -hmm. Say hello, Jordan. Thank you very much for having me. We're going to be revealing some exciting news. I am a very uncultured centre-back. Big Wolves fan. Difficult to explain when you live in Cardiff. So we, um, despite being Sapphire Gardens, we play at, at Land Rumney Uni playing fields. Um, yeah. We founded Down Sapphire Gardens, but up upgraded with our promotions. Nice. Had to hit capacity uh, levels as required. Mm -hmm. Joe, we're also going to have a look at the weekend fixtures. We're then going to have our exciting news. Readers' wives is back. A dream about VAR. So Mitch's corner is back. Is that all right with you, gentlemen? Do it. Play the music. Play the music. An oil filter is like a goalkeeper. We're joined once again. We introduce him, Jordan, from CSKA Sapphire Gardens. We are going to be sponsoring CSKA Sapphire Gardens. Front of the shirts will have us on them. So we were a group of lads who used to kick about in the park. Got a bit ahead of ourselves and thought we're quite good. Let's make a team. That was in 2011. Yep. And here we are, eight seasons on. We've gone from just being a bit rubbish at the bottom to all of a sudden we finished third in the Premier League last year. We've got players from all walks of life, all jobs, and most importantly, all mates. Okay. Play some nice football. It's taken very seriously. We have a few training sessions a week. We work hard to play nice football, but most importantly, there's 20 lads there. If we lose, we laugh in the changing rooms. If we win, we laugh some more. Nice. And that's what we're all about. What, yeah, league, what league are you in right now? So we're in the uh, Lazarou Premier League at the moment. So that's the Cardiff Sunday League. First bit of exciting news is that we like are going to be news. sponsoring CSKA Sapphire Gardens next season. So that's really exciting. Keep an eye on a lot of plans that we have um, upcoming, which is going to be good. And Dimitri Karin of Dinis is in, in goal. So everyone's a winner here. I reckon. Except your old goalkeeper. Yeah, except our goal difference as well. Yeah. But, you know, but we, apart we, from that's that. That's the risk. That's the risk. Apart from that, I think the mood can be summed up as excited. Delighted. The more it saves, the better it is. And that's why you should always choose a Unipart filter. And save your engine from grime, dirt, and pollution. Unipart filters are the only filters recommended by British Leyland. We're in Mitch's corner. Mitch can't be with us tonight, but we're in Mitch's corner. We are playing a game this week it's called a sheep in wolf's clothing we're going to give you a picture of a wolves player uh with the head of a sheep lovely all you need to do is tell us <laughs> who Who's that the wolves player, player is, the sheep who, is, is. who is who is the sheep? that Who's wolves the player sheep? describe what you were seeing as well for our listeners yeah yeah i will number one so i am looking at the 1994 gold strip shape of a wolf that's got to be bully surely he's going bully Number one is Don Goodman. Now, number two. Okay. Explain what you're looking at. What are you looking at there? I'm looking at a lamb, a very big lamb. Mm, yeah. uh, somebody clenching, quite strong. Could be John DeWolf. Bit of a wolf's legend. Same strip, like a John DeWolf. That is Steve Bob. Okay, I'm looking at last year's wolves kit, and I'm looking at a black sheep mm. face, and yeah. that is Leander Dendonka. That's Ruben Neves. What? <laughs> oh, well done. This has been edited here. Name that Wolves player. Who is the sheep in Wolves clothing? That is the Irish Cafu, Matthew Darty. That is Matthew Darty. One. Right. Now, who is this Wolves player? That is one Sky Sports legend, Mr. Matthew Murray. That is, <laughs> that is Matthew Murray. Right. That is two. Avert your... Gaze once again, bear with me. Bar with me, if you will. Who is 
This wolf's player, describe what you're seeing. I am looking at a beautiful Mexican sheep called Raul Jimenez. You are indeed. It is now three each. So it's three right, three wrong. Oh, come on. Now, who's that wolf's player? <laughs> Explain what you're seeing. What are you looking with? Lovely dyed blonde hair, absolutely built. He looks lovely, doesn't he? Adama Traore. Died in the wall. I damn it, Traore. It's four, three. Boom. Four right and three wrong. He's in the The last seat. one. Can I have this my wall when I get here? Who? You can indeed. Who is this wolves Sh- legend? Sheep in wolves clothing. Sheep in wolves clothing. Who is that? <laughs> can you I am looking, what you're looking at there? I am looking at a the most attractive ship, uh, sheep of the lot. Yep. And that is... Sir Mick McCarthy. Oh, right. So that is five right, three wrong. Jordan, well done. Thank you for joining us in Mitch's Corner. Thank you for having Thank me. Thank you for playing Sheep in Wolves Clothing. You, you've missed a tear. Spelled rant wrong. Who are you most impressed by? Impressed by, uh, well, uh, the uh, Man City in Liverpool? Because yeah. that just does go, that goes without saying now that I'm going to be impressed so you think with Man you've City already, in Liverpool. you've already put the narrative is that City are going to be battling Liverpool after one game? Yeah, I think they will. I don't think the gap between third and second is going to be any smaller. I think it might get bigger. No, I totally agree. I totally agree. The emphasis on the weekend, I notice if you see routine games for City and Liverpool win comfortably, Spurs looked hard against a team yeah. that's just come up at home and it, new signings playing. It's just it, a bit loose though because it's still the first game. So it, it is, is the first but, game. But you can... So you think a first impression goes that far? Like that's what your outfit's going to look like? It's all we can go off at the minute, but it's a good flavour. Throw a pooky fact? I think I already know it, but... He's now scored with his you first touch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with his first touch, mm-hmm. eight seasons in a row. Is it eight in his eight? Eight isn't seasons it? in so a row. Eight yeah. seasons in a row, he scored with his first touch. That is ridiculous. How do you think he'll do this year? I think he's gonna get double figures. To I get your first off the mark in Anfield, when it's four nil down, mm-hmm. and to still keep that stat up, first touch. His that must have felt like a win for Norwich, you know, and your twenty five goal striker mm. gets off the mark instantly in a yeah. big game like that. That's that's huge that is for can, a season. Can I massive. can I just say chocolate oranges are available at Rawlinson's? Crystal Palace. We mm. can't get it too much into Ben because I used to What rate if he comes so back? What if he bounces back? Jordan Lloyd, welcome to the podcast. In front of you, you can see three topic bars, yep. which leads into the next section. I would like you to choose one of the topics and read for me what is on the back of the hot topics, the big topics, topics. I... So choose a topic. Well, I think he's clear on how he needs to pick a topic yeah. bar. Just explain that again. I'll go no. for... Oh, it's a big topic. It's a big topic. And read read for me what is... Playing at home will be VAR. VAR. What have you got to say about VAR? Hot topic. Why is it so important? This is the way that football is going to be from here on out. (laughs) The moan at the moment, though, is you can't debate when it was used on the weekend that every decision was right. The bugbear for a lot of people is the time. Going on further from what you're saying, though, People in the stands who are at the ground, you've paid, you say you've paid 60 quid to go watch a Premier League match. When we get a pause in play, yeah. there's no, like the rugby, there's no, all right, we can hear what they're talking about, build that, mm. maybe build that little bit of tension, bit of discussion. That's they sit idea. there and then they're perplexed afterwards. And mm. back in the day, the person who went to the game 
would be telling the person in the pub what happens. Yeah. Now, yeah. you pay 60 quid for a ticket and the man watching it on Sky knows more than you do. It'll clear up the clarity issue because mm. you'll hear someone talking and the fans will be in the know and yeah. I think people will be happy. If you're defending against VAR, you're going to think differently. So your first approach to get to that player is thinking, oh, but once it's embedded in, I can't do X, Y and Z. It changes the game by its very nature and it's just proving like the, the, the best thing going forward. And those right. who have played... In Europe beforehand, we'll have the jump because, but it will get more streamlined. I think is a force for good. Right. We defended so well in that game as well. Bolly, it was incredible. Yeah. But but the lack of that. Goal, so, if you, shit yeah. so if you didn't see that and you're watching highlights, you don't know how integral Bolly is to that back line, which he has right. been he's, for, he's for two seasons solid. He's really cemented his plays. But all he is is like, oh yeah, it was his. It wasn't his. You're hit by ball. all three of us in that yep thank you to our listeners and our followers at a touchline rant it is to say thank you to jordan for joining us and the cska sophia gardens boys that may or may not be listening depending on how we think of you make them. we talked some good chat about this that and the other thank you very much that's 99 out it felt huge all right jordan lloyd thanks for being on podcast just List like we want to get better every single time, so we put together this uh, ATR questionnaire just to run through, just get a vibe of how how you how you felt during this podcast. I thought this bit was for you. No, 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 no. I give this to everyone as sort of thing we do. So first of all, yeah. did you enjoy being on the podcast? What, what yes, happened? very much so. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Uh, were snacks provided? What, what are the options? Again, it's always the same. Yes, very much so. Maybe or don't know. Don't know. If don't know wasn't on there, what would the answer be? What, what, what are the options again? Yes, very much so. Maybe. Maybe. I'll, I'll just skip that section for now. and we'll just. Get... Would you suggest this podcast to a friend? What are the options? Again, always always the same. Yes, very much so. Maybe, don't know. Don't know.